walking and taking pictures, for the next post, this black cat met me. The chain of association led me to the name of the person I want to tell you about. This person is a connoisseur of the depths of his own subconscious, and his work allows you to look into the lower layers of the mass unconscious. First, I'll tell you why we all need to explore the common subconscious of humanity, for pragmatic purposes. As a psychologist explores the subconscious through childhood memories, so each of us can understand humanity through mythology. What have people carried through the centuries? Why are some of the myths recorded in different cultures so remarkably similar? This is some important information that humanity is trying to preserve. Information in the form of fairy tales, legends, proverbs. If the past is reflected in mythology, then the future is in fantasy. Knowledge of mythology and fantasy is useful from a business perspective. Whatever business you do, it is useful for you to know the massive subconscious. You will better interact with others, anticipate actions, and influence. Branding, advertising, motivation, relationships you will become more successful in all of this by understanding the mechanisms of the subconscious. Knowing the general subconscious, it is possible to influence large masses. The more information you have, the easier it will be to cope with any task. This is what each strategy guide states. For example, you want to sell something to your neighbor. Having learned about his preferences, you will more easily cope with the task. If myths are the past of mankind, then fantasy is the future. The mass unconscious, like a minus and plus of infinity, stretches in both directions. If you look at science fiction from this angle, then you can learn a lot from it. Let's move on to the hero of this conversation, Edgar Poe. I don't think that there is someone in the civilized world who is not familiar with the work of this mystical author. He endured his experience knowledge of the secrets of the soul, fears, hopes, genius and madness. Edgar Poe dived into such depths of the subconscious where other authors did not dare. Therefore, he became a standard for others, a pioneer of a new. He gave rise to new directions in literature, inspired a whole galaxy of authors. There are many directions in which Edgar Poe worked. A number of stories about cruelty and pangs of conscience, crime and punishment that comes not because of external factors, but as a result of confession, caused by pangs of conscience. For example, the story, Black Cat, where the main character is friends with a cat, but not controlling his rage, causes the animal suffering by cutting out an eye, continuing to love him. The degradation of the hero continues. He kills the animal, then his wife, and it is the cat that becomes the cause of his fiasco, the police find the walled up body. There is a similar story, The Telltale Heart. It is about a magical vision of reality. Conscience torments the hero, acting on him from the inside, taking the form of an external phenomenon a sound that he can only hear. In the story, William Wilson, the hero, doing dishonor in life, hears all the time a whisper of conscience, in the form of a double who has incriminated him. The hero kills his conscience. This story caught the attention of Fellini and Zelazny. Edgar Poe is the founder of the fantastic detective direction in literature. The famous detective and his friend, Deductive Method, Investigations, Poe invented all this four decades before Conan Doyle. Detective Edgar Poe is as interesting as the beloved Sherlock. He knows how to read the mostlies and intentions of people, observing their facial expressions and motor skills. Edgar Poe also explores the mysteries of hypnotism. How wise are the responses of a person in deep trance? Can death be slowed down by hypnosis? Spiritualism, metempsychosis, society's behavior in the face of imminent death, the Inquisition, those buried alive, the list goes on and on. In addition, Edgar Poe is the author of poetry. 
The poem The Raven is so fateful in the work of Edgar Poe, that it deserves a separate post. The verse consists of 108 mystical stanzas. According to legend, the author polished it for ten years, adhering to certain mathematical laws, thanks to which he achieved coverage of a larger segment of readers. The author has suffered every thought that he shares with us. This hard-won experience is unique. Whatever we do in life, the work of Edgar Allan Poe will arm us, helping in business. And as people, we will become a little better. Thank him for that.